This video is for Unity 6 users who want to use ProBuilder. ProBuilder should be installed from Window and Package Manager. You can find it in the Unity registry under ProBuilder and you will see that it's upgraded to uh, ProBuilder version 6. Okay, so install that and you will notice that there's a few differences between the older ProBuilder version 5. In Unity 6 there's a slightly different layout to the scene. Uh, we have this a little menu at the bottom that allows you to customize this bar at the top. Okay, so we can, for example, switch various items on or off. Uh, when we go to Tools and Pro Builder, you'll find that there is no Pro Builder window like there was in Pro Builder 5. Okay, so instead, we have this option here to actually create any kind of object, Pro Builder object. So just left click and hold in order to create an item. So for example, let's say that I wanna create a sphere. Now I can click and drag and then move my mouse up in order to create this. Now I am using uh, URP, so it takes a few seconds for it to generate the uh, shader. Now uh, ensure that the tool settings is switched on. All right, once this is switched on, we then have access to editing for Pro Builder objects. If we click this on, we now get access to, for example, vertex selection, edge, or face selection. Now, because we haven't got a Pro Builder window, uh, everything is now on a right click menu. So, for example, if I click on the face, I can then right click and I get access to all of the individual options. So for example, if I want to triangulate faces, bevel edges, etc., they're all right-click menus now. We can go to Tools, Pro Builder. Uh, under Editors, we have the Light Map UV Editor, Material Editor, Smoothing, UV Editor, Vertex, etc. So for example, if I wanted to, let's say, open the Vertex menu, I can then assign a specific color to that particular face. Hopefully, that helps you to get up and running with Pro Builder 6. Thanks for watching.